Hi guys, it's Amy here and today we're going to be looking at blackboard tests and how we can take these as a student. So in my course here, I'm just going to go and open up my folder where I know the test is and I'll be able to take the test. And I can see already on this test the due date and a time limit. So if there's any information like that before you take the test, you can actually read this from the outside. So if I just click onto the title, this will take me into the test. So again, I get the repeat here. I can even see now attempts. So I have two attempts on this test. So if I don't pass the first time, I know I've got a second attempt. So I'll just go down to the bottom and choose where it says start attempt one. And I'll also have to start the timer because this one does have 10 minutes to complete my submission. So I'll hit start timer. From this point now, I just have to take the test. Um, so this one is an essay style question. So if I click into the editor here, I've got all these different editing options. I can add things like tables. I can even attach files, add my own images um, and, and uh, media from the web if I need to. Um, but in many cases, you're probably just going to type in an essay question. So you can just add your text here. This is a matching question. So it's just a case of reading the, the question and getting the correct answers for the matches that it requires. So you would just go through the test as though you are taking it. Down at the bottom, you'll be able to see your time remaining. So at the moment, I have nine minutes remaining. Once I'm happy with my test, I will hit submit. This will then submit that test, and that is my first attempt done. So I'll have to then wait for this to be marked um, because it has essay questions. So if your test just has multiple choice uh, and there are no essay questions, it will usually be automatically marked. If it does have essay questions, you'll have to wait for your lecturer to mark it. Once my lecturer has let me know that they've finished all their marking and they've posted the grades, I can actually just go straight up to the grade center button here. And I'll be able to see under that assessment, the score I received. Um, so this might say uh, achieved, passed, complete. Uh, it could be a score, depending on how your lecturer is doing their grading you'll see different things in this area, but from this, I can tell with this nice green color and full marks, I have passed. So that's how we can do a test, submit a test and check our grades.